Hi and welcome to WEH videos. My name is Skip and today I want to give a quick tutorial on how to enter a flight plan into X-Plane's Garmin 530. This is really pretty simple. You click on flight plan and you enter your waypoints. Notice that nothing is highlighted here. We need to click on the small knob here to activate the cursor and then we click on the right side and the left side of the small button and the large knob, I'm sorry, large knob to enter your waypoints. So if you wanted to fly to an airport you need to put in the identifier. For example, Redding is KRDD. So you push on the left side or the right side. Ha, <laughs> did that backwards. So we end up with a K. Right off the bat we end up with a K. We go to the right side of the big knob to move the cursor over to the next letter and we can go down to the R and then we do the large knob on the right side to move it over once and then we enter D you see D and we go over there one more time for another D we hit enter and accept and now our first waypoint is loaded into the GPS. Now this is an airport. You normally don't want to fly directly to an airport, but if you did, you could do that. You could take off and activate your program. But let me show you one more thing. If you're going to use the GPS, it's best to select waypoints on the way to your airport. And you can do that in several different ways. You can just go to the map in X-Plane and you see all these little uh, pyramids here. These are fixes and they're all over the place on the map. You can enter these fixes into the GPS and it will fly to each one of these fixes. So to do a, a flight plan just pick fixes that are on the way to the airport you want to go to. So if we were going up to Reading we could just pick fixes all the way up to Reading, which is way up here. So we just click on a fix and it's going to tell us what it is, NIVIW, and we enter that into our GPS. Another thing you can do is go on the internet to skyvector.com, click on the world low page, and you can see all these fixes which you can enter. Here's a fix, S-E-E-M-S, the other thing you can do is go to airnav.com and you could type in an airport. So say Redding, Redding, California. And we can click go. And here you can see it gives you the identifier for the airport. So here's KRDD. And then we uh, just entered that. So if you don't know what the ID is for the airport you want to fly to, you can go to airnav.com and find the airport identifier. Those are just simple things you can do to get flying with your GPS. And I'll just enter a couple of these and show you what it looks like. So let's pick one out here. Here's a SEPDY. Let's enter that into our GPS and see what happens. So we're going to move the cursor down by using the big knob on the right side and we're going to do S. Let's go. S E P D and Y. And notice it tells us in U.S. Southwest and it gives us the coordinates or the position. So now you know that this waypoint or this fix is in the GPS system. If you typed something in here and nothing showed up, then that doesn't exist and you need to go find another one. So let's go ahead and hit enter and then it says accept and we hit enter again. And now that's our second waypoint. So I think you got the idea you continue to add fixes into your flight plan and the last entry will be the airport that you're flying to. 
we put this up here just to show you quickly how to enter something into a, a, a flight plan but normally if you wanted to go directly to an airport you would use the direct to button and I did a tutorial on that you can look for that tutorial on how to do a direct to so your last entry will be the airport you wish to fly to so you're going to take off and then when you're ready to activate your flight plan there's a couple of things you need to do first off you need to make sure that GPS is displayed here and you click the CDI button and it switches from VLOC VOR localizer, that's what that stands for, and GPS. This must be on the GPS mode. You go down to the console here on the Baron 58, and this is the controls for the autopilot. And here it says AP on off. You have to click the AP on. You want to click nav for navigate. And once you get to your cruising altitude, you would click altitude, A L T to get your altitude selected. So after you've done those things, that's when your GPS will take effect. So make sure after you have your program in and you're ready to activate that these are set. Otherwise, it will not work. So I do have other more in-depth videos on how to program uh, the GPS and how to fly a flight plan and also how to fly VOR to VOR. I suggest you watch these videos. They're a lot more in-depth. They will really help you in the long run. But this is a quick little start and it'll get you flying the GPS. So I hope you got something out of this. If you like this, please click the like button. If you would like to leave a comment, that would be great. Uh, thank you again so much for watching and God bless.